News is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa, Nail and Barber Shops, the Wellness Center, Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tissily Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, HOV Medical, and Digicel. Sign up for Digicel Plus Home Light Bundles, faster internet movies, and sports. Thursday, November 16, promises to see a ding-dong battle between the British Virgin Islands and Dominica, both looking for a critical win in the world of football. Hear what head coaches for both teams shared with me and Dean the Sportsman Greenaway when we stopped by the A.O. Shirley Recreational Ground earlier today. And now with the coach for Dominica, how critical is this game for you? Just as critical as this for BVI, boss win game. Both teams going to do is going to be an exciting game. Okay, uh, how long have you been working with these guys and your comfortability with this team on this field here in the Virgin Islands? Well, the team I've been in training for a while. I'm very comfortable and confident in the ability of the players and we're going to come out and give a good show in tomorrow. Okay, uh, your team, tell me a little bit about the composition of your team in terms of uh, senior players, youth players. You have a number of youth players with you? Yes, yeah, a mixture of youth and experience. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, should your team win or not, what is the next move for you? To play the last game in the group <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully win that one. But we don't, we're not planning not to win the game, we're planning to go out and give a good showing as well as come out victorious. Okay, you here in the Virgin Islands and there is a really big population of Dominicans here. What do you have to say to them in, to ensure that they're out here to support you guys? And for, for the Dominicans that are out here in BVI, you probably have a family on the team, so it would be advised that you come out and support the team in this historic event for both teams. Both teams looking for promotion into Group, into group B, and the 12th man is always welcome. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time, and we wish you all the best tomorrow. You're welcome. You, uh, Gavin was telling me you guys were demoted last year. Mm. What is the motivation in this game? To get promoted, that's the motivation. That's the ultimate goal, to get promoted from League C to League B. What has the, what composition have you made or changes have you made to your team between the first time you made BVI and now? Well, we brought in some players as well as if you brought in players naturally you drop some players. So we still keep it youthful and, and we still have some experience there to go out and play a good game. And after this you have Tucks and Caicos Islands on Monday. I know you're not looking forward to that game. So the most important game is definitely Thursday. Well, to you might say not looking forward to the game. I'm actually looking forward to both games. I want to come out of the group without losing or losing any games. We already dropped two points. I think that's enough points to drop from our group. And we're hoping to go out and win both games. What would it mean to get promoted to be a game? Well, it'll be a milestone in my coaching career for a young head coach. He's only my first year in charge of the team. That would be a milestone for me, like I assume it'll be a milestone for the BVI team who also seeking promotion. 30 players above above you and you're still throwing punches. What would you like to see from this game this weekend, players and fans? First of all, we're going to need the fans as much as we can. But I've heard there's a lot of Dominicans on the island as well, so it's going to be interesting, uh, uh, the crowd support. But we need no, we need the crowd to get behind us. You know, We need the BVI people to come and come down and give us much support because overall they are a better team than us. You know, So we're going to need the BVI people to be the 12th man for us and hopefully we can put in a good performance and just try to get a good result on the day. It's not going to be easy because they are a good team but you know we're going to try. This year's league, what is the difference you've seen this year over last year? In terms of quality, uh, well I think last year the league that we played in Puerto Rico you know, should have been in our group but I think from the we got beat 6-0 in the first game and then when we played them the second time we was winning 1-0 after 45, 43, 40, 42 minutes against the team once again that's probably 30 places above us. So you could see the progression that has been made. This year it's a little bit more even, a little bit more even but Dominica still are the best team out of ourselves and the Turks and Caicos. Um, but we're fighting to upset the Apple Cow. You know, we're fighting you know, for ourselves, we're fighting for the BVI national team and we're fighting for the people. We want to try and make history. Won't be easy, and it'd be good if we could. But if we can't, we've been absolutely been a brilliant, you know, brilliant three or four games where we've done really well. Nobody expected BVI to be where BVI is now, especially in Concacaf. 
Absolutely, absolutely. And that's what we want to keep on doing. We want to keep striving. Look, it's just the start of it. But we need to, everybody needs to keep getting better. The FA need to get better. The players need to get better. You know, the coaching staff need to get better. Everybody needs to keep on getting better so we can move up that rankings. But more importantly, improve the players here in the BVI, the local players in the BVI. We've got to improve them. What has it been like having this team comprised of a lot of local players who are also getting a chance to be in Europe and the USA being on the team? It's, it's, it's really good because we've got a good mix, you know, but ultimately, ultimately, you know, we want the island players, don't we? We want a squad, you know, that shows the DNA of the BVI. So it's good when players can go over to England and get experience. But obviously, you know, we want the local players in the league to start coming more players, to be challenging for places in the squad and getting in the, in, in the team, you know, the players in Tortola, the players in Virgin Gorda or wherever they are. We need the local players, you know, in the local leagues to get better and challenge these players that are in the team at the moment so I can put them in there. I then turned the microphone to Greenaway for a backstory that makes this game so critical for the British Virgin Islands. Kathy, this is the biggest game in BVI history. The BVI won its first game in regional play since November 27, 2004, when they beat Tux and Caicos Islands here on September 9th. They went on to play Dominica to a 1-1 draw and the Tux and Caicos Islands to a 2-2 draw in Tux and Caicos. Now, this sets up a winner-takes-all showdown with the winner of this game at 3 p.m. on Thursday advancing to Group League B. So it's, if Dominica wins, they move on. If BVI win, they move on. And this is significant because, as I said, BVI hadn't won a game, regional game, in 19 years until September 9th. And here they are with a victory, two draws, and five points leading the group. So if the BVI wins this game, Dominica is going to face the Tux and Caicos Islands on Monday. It doesn't matter what the Tux and Caicos Islands would do on Monday, the BVI would have had enough points to be ahead of them because they are leading 5-4 to four and BVI would have 8 points and if Dominica beats Tux and Caicos, they will only have 7 points. So this is a significant game and as coach Chris Kiamo was saying, when I first spoke to him, they need the crowd to come out. They, they need the 12th man out in the stadium tomorrow to help cheer them on again. This is the biggest game in BVI football history. Kickoff time is at 2 p.m. at the A.O. Shirley Recreational Ground. Will Team BVI triumph over Dominica and make it into Group B? Or will Dominica take that spot? We'll find out then. With this JTV News Update, Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us. A bank that gives where it matters the most. For you. For our community. And a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Everyone looks to the future, but no one truly knows what the future holds. The number of people under the age of 20 with type 2 diabetes could increase by 49% by 2050. Let it be known that we all have a 30% chance of developing hypertension. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages suffer from depression. More than 60,000 young adults aged 20 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Obesity leads to problems such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney failure. No matter your race, age, or color, we are all at risk. 
these diseases can be managed or prevented if caught early. But with the right medicine and the right doctors to keep us on a path to live a robust and healthy life. We will live well.